Uh, Tyson, uh, when you look at the finals set up and, and grand finals, uh, they're all coming now. And I guess uh, it doesn't matter whether you play at the top level or amateur level or in the country, you love to win a flag uh, with your mates. That's right, Skin. I'll tell you what, just seeing the hopes and dreams all come down to one day. It's a magnificent game. And grand final day, it was huge all over country football, the Goldfields Football League. It was a ferocious grand final and Off the Boot was there to check out all the action. For the first time in five years, the Diorites would not be contending for a Goldfields Premiership. Instead, Railways, the perennial bridesmaids, were taking on the strong finishing Boulder City. And there was more to watch than just the football. The Panthers, who had dominated season 2011, started strongly with a bulk of first half possessions. However, they couldn't transfer this to scoreboard pressure with the Tigers fighting for survival. When you're getting the ball into our forward line, don't panic. Hit targets and make sure we're hitting black and gold jumpers, right? The pep talk wasn't enough as Railways took complete control after quarter time. Best on ground performance from Ryan Bowie ensured it was going to be a long afternoon for the Tides. An insurmountable lead couldn't satisfy the desire and drive of Panthers coach Graham Borchett. Now, now we finish them off, alright? Now we just show them what we're made of. Make sure now we go out and we honour Mitch Gillard because he's our whole year's been involved in. Now let's finish it off. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! The contest was fierce throughout and the powder keg was ignited in an incident late in the final term. With a multitude of yellow cards, the umpires struggled to take back control. But in the end, it was Railways who deserved the fruits of a successful 2011 campaign. Like we probably would have liked to have got it a couple of years ago, I suppose, and that, but I mean, the boys are just stuck at it and stuck at it, and you know, we just haven't let that get, get to us, you know, and yeah, it's so good, even sweeter now. Hey, look, these boys have put in everything all year, and you know, I'm not afraid to say it now, we've been the best side all year, and uh, we deserve this win. Ah, there you have it, the Railways Footy Club premiers for the first time in five years, and the Panthers were a little inaccurate early on. But the defence was brilliant. Boulder managed just two goals to half time. Ryan Bowie was fantastic. Cody Kelman chipped in with three goals. And in the end, it was a fitting tribute to a bloke that they've had in their hearts and minds all year, Carl. Yeah, uh, and the whole club gathered in the middle of the ground. Uh, they drew the number four in the dirt. Uh, they paid tribute and dedicated the game to Mitch Gillum, of course, who lost his life uh, tragically earlier this season. And uh, they tell me, all my spies up there tell me that uh, there were very, very emotional scenes after the game was completed and after they'd gone through that whole scenario. So uh, well done to the footy club for showing that great emotion. And what about the, the melee we saw there, Tom? Oh, and geez, a little bit happening. I know the cameras were nice and close. I wonder if that inspired some of the boys just to continue with some of the uh, the biff. Well, the game was dead, wasn't it? Now, let's face it, it, it did spill over and it got to the interchange area and some of those interchange blokes got involved. Great to see the crowd stay as the crowd and not get involved. And well done to the umpires because that could have easily developed into something really ugly and I think you've got to give credit where credit's due. So well done to the umpires. And